Hello, my name is Dea Talia Padang. I'm from class 5B. Here I want to presentation about one branch of morphology prefixes. So, with any further ado, let's get to the video. Here we can see the topic will uh, I will presentation about prefixes with the lecturer Dr. Elson Ambarita SSM Hum from Fakultas Sastra Universitas Methodist Indonesia. And then the table of contents. 1. Definition of pre prefixes. 2. Example of prefixes. 3. List of common prefixes. 4. Reason why we care about prefixes. And 5. The conclusion. The first definition of prefixes. Prefixes. Prefixes are a group of letters that change the meaning of a word when they are added to the start. Most prefixes mean a similar thing when they are added to different words. Prefixes contrast with suffix, which are added to the back of a word. The second example of prefixes. An usually mean not for the example unhappy, unlooked, unfair. This and miss usually have negative meanings. For example, disagree, disobey, misbehave, mislead. Re usually means again or back. For example, redo, reappear, redecorate. Sub usually mean under, for example, subheading or submarine. 3. Common prefixes. Here, we can see the table of some prefixes, the meaning and the example. Here, we can see the table of some prefixes, the meaning and the example. A and R meaning without a moral example a moral atypical anti meaning before example antinsendent antin nettle anti meaning against anti establishment auto meaning self example auto autopilot sirsum meaning around Example, system vent, and many more. We can see more example from this table. Four, why we care about prefixes? Are prefixes hypnate? Four rule to care about prefixes. Rule one, use a hyphen with a proper noun. If your prefix sits before a proper noun, Use a hypen and British or pro Nazi. Rule 2 Don't allow the same vowel to double up. If the prefix ends in the same vowel that the root word start with, separate them with a hyphen, semi industrious, re enter, ultra argumentative. Rule 3. You can let different vowels double up. When a prefix ends in a vowel and the root word starts with a different vowel, it's usual to omit the hyphen proactive, reactive, semi-autonomous. Rule 4. Use a hyphen with X and self. The prefixes X and self are usually followed by a hyphen, ex-husband, self-aware. 5. Conclusion A prefix is a word, part 8, to the beginning of a word that change the word's meaning. Learning the meanings of prefixes 
will help expand your vocabulary, which will help improve your writing. Teaching prefixes help students understand the meaning behind different vocabulary words and students that learn prefixes have the capabilities of breaking down unfamiliar words into segments that are easy understood learning new words becomes simpler this is my presentation about prefixes hope you like it i'm sorry if there is any mistake thank you